Hello friends, this video on Adolescence Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the secondary sexual characters. So till now we spoke about uh, the external features which changes, for example, increase in height, uh, appearance of pimples, change in voice, so all those things. Now we will talk about some traits which are governed by hormones and which changes. So let us see what are secondary sexual characters. Now before we talk about secondary sexual characters, let me give a quick recap of what do we mean by sexual organs in males and females. Now, in our previous lesson, we spoke about reproduction and there we saw that there are certain parts of our body which take place primarily in the process of reproduction. So they are the primary sex organs of our body. Because in case of human beings, sexual reproduction is the only mode of reproduction. So which are the parts which take part in, uh, rip in the process of reproduction? They are called reproductive organs. And what are those reproductive organs? So let us have a look at them. So if you talk about a female, which is the primary reproductive organ in a female. So the primary reproductive organ in this case is going to be ovary. Why? Because ovary produces the ovum or the egg cell. And this ovum or egg cell is the female gamete. And what about a male? In case of a male, the primary reproductive organ is the testis. And this testis produces the sperms. And the sperms are the male gametes. Now this male gamete and the female gamete, they fuse together to form a zygote and that is when fertilization takes place. So for reproduction to take place, sperms production and ovum production is necessary. Only when sperm and ovum meets, only then the reproduction can take place. So this is ovum and this is sperm. Right? So these are the organs which are primary sexual organs. So these organs are present inside a male and a female since birth. But these organs, when do they become active? When they actually start functioning is during adolescence. So that is one thing. Now, these organs which primarily or which directly play a role in reproduction, they are the primary reproductive organs or the primary sexual organs. Right? So this is the female reproductive system which not only has ovary but it also has other parts like the fallopian tubes, the uterus, the vagina. So they all together form the female reproductive system. Similarly, several parts together form the male reproductive system. So these organs which we are talking about right now, they are the primary organs which are involved in the process of reproduction. But other than these organs also, there are certain traits or certain changes which happen in a person, but that is also related to the same hormones which give rise to these primary reproductive organs. So let us see what are secondary sexual characters. So these are external features which help to distinguish between a male and a female. Now whatever we have discussed in the previous slide, whether it is the male reproductive system or the female reproductive system, it is something internal which is not visible from outside. But there are certain traits which are visible from outside and which helps you to distinguish between a male and a female. So such traits are called secondary sexual characters. It is called secondary because they are not primarily involved in reproduction. Sexual because it determines these characters determine the sex of a person, whether the person is a male or a female. So let us see some of the examples of secondary sexual characters. One such example is the appearance of moustache. Now you would have seen that a boy, if you look at a boy and a man, right? So there is appearance of moustache. So this shows that the person has entered into his reproductive phase. And appearance of a moustache is something which is present in a man, but it is not present in a woman. So if you look at a woman, then there is no moustache present. So basically the presence or absence of moustache helps you to distinguish between a male and a female. So this is one example of secondary sexual character. 
So let us talk about the various secondary sexual characters in males. What are those traits which are present exclusively in males and not in females? So one is thick hair growth under armpits and genital area. So in males, the hair growth is more. In fact, the body, the hair present on the body, that is also more in case of males when compared to females. Facial hair, lot of facial hair, which also appears in the form of moustache, and beard which is not present in females occasional penis enlargement this is also a part of secondary sexual character sometimes the penis enlarges and that's how the sperms can get released from the penis similarly we have a set of secondary sexual characters in females like the start of menstruation cycle as I was telling you that every month there will be bleeding through the vagina. So that process starts in females so that would show that she is a female. Breast enlargement which is very much noticeable externally. Hair growth under armpits and genital area so under the armpits as well as toward in the genital area there will be a lot of hair growing. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.